Hey Paranormal Explorers, it's Exploring Arley. Hey, you've probably seen it on my short there. Yeah, I'm in Hinsdale tonight. What a place. That place has loads of history. That, that particular house was built in 1870. And the owner of the house, sadly, well, he committed the unparable. Yeah, he committed the S word. But his wife, Sarah, stayed and lived in this house until her passing. And the story is that in 1970, a family by the name of the Dandies came here and they started having like loads of Portuguese activity and loads of activity. And they called upon Friar Alphonsus from St. Bonaventure or University and he came here and performed a cleansing of the house. When he performed the cleansing of the house, well, where I'm standing and where it is behind you started shaking like crazy. That place was, uh, that was a room. You see where the wall was, the door was right here. That was a bedroom before. Oh. <laughs> and May I mention, you guys, I'm here with my buddy Lomar, Chelsea's holding the camera, and for the first time I'll be collaborating with Angelo and Frank. So, stick with us guys, I think we're gonna have loads of activity. We're spending the whole night here, and we have the whole place until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, so. Let's get at it. Let's give him a quick scan of these ones. Over I, I never really took a good look at it. It's creepy. it's creepy. You guys, Angelo's gonna try to. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, you got this. Oh man. Oh man. Holy schnooks. Oh my. Okay, I'm just gonna put you back in there. So apparently the last person who did touched it at the very least when they came back later on that was open yep and you heard it open in the video you said yeah in the video you can hear the, the case open and the guys wonder what is happening and when they came down the case was open and yeah so this one was apparently found on the property Hey, guess what? Yeah. I'm having only face recognition on this one. Come, check. On yep. And just that doll. Oh, yeah, you. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Yeah. Just that doll yeah. as facial recognition. Which doll is it? The yellow one. <laughs> the creepy one. Mm -hmm. 
the yellow one. I want to, I wonder if... Yeah, it's Our only focusing for some reason on... On know, this one. And that's the one you mentioned, right? Yeah. yeah. The creepy one. Huh. And look at the eyes of this, the eye of this one. So, um, are you going to do your thing? What, what, my thing? What I don't know, you said thing? something, you were going to touch something and touch it at the same time? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to charge it. Yeah, okay. All right, so, so you're going to need to grab this. Yeah, I'll grab oh, this. Oh, okay, uh, just unplug my battery. Yeah, huh? Yeah, just unplug the battery and plug it in. Okay. Like this one in. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, that's a, a dual uh, oh, plug. Oh, it's a dual? Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't notice So, so just replug the, the I'll, battery, I'll please. I'll plug it back in. I just need this for a... There you so go. So apparently, people use these things to charge the entities and give them power. So yeah. I'm going to try something that I don't really want to try, but I'm going to do it just because we're here. And this is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. Are you going to so have... I'm going to touch this, and then I'm going to touch the doll. And I'm going to try and charge it. And give it extra power. Cool. Should we go? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you hugged it. It can't be. Sorry, I have to. <laughs> wow, this thing is so like. Yeah, it's a little uh, tough. We're enjoying this. Whoa! <laughs> We're enjoying this. Well, it's running. Oh man. Oh, it's actually gonna grab you are bro. Oh. I mean, it's not that bad. Oh. Oh. She's only got one eye. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the creepy part. She's got one eye. Look at that eye. So please don't come back home with me. Oh. So now we're gonna get. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my freaking lord. As soon as he touched that. Oh my god. Both rem pods are going up. Even up there. Oh my freaking lord. Alright, what? Rude. Hang on, I let go and it stopped. Dude! I. What? What? Right? Okay, that is. Do it again? Yeah. No. No! What is happening? I know what is happening. It's the one from. I know. What is it? He's. He's. I'm trying to. You know, he, he's. He's. Um. Ah, fuck. He's doing like a wire. Yeah, but. He's. Yeah, he's. He's. He's, 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 he's bringing the EMF to the EMF. That is, that's, that dude. Uh, With his old body. Uh, that's not, I, I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, if Chelsea. doesn't know, Frank has someone attached to it. Yeah. yeah, I've got some really bad juju since I was born. Oh, so, my. But it's working so well, your, your shirt is actually becoming legible. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, wow. I don't even have to touch it. Wow. That's cool. Wow. I've never seen that before. Me neither. You can put force right through that too. So can you imagine the amount of EMF that little ball produce? So it can go through Frank's body and to go to the ramp pod? Yeah, yeah. it was activating when I... That's wow. Okay. That's wild. I am charged. Yeah. Like everything. Oh my. That means you're bringing some energy into that doll too. Some? And the other oh, ramp pod sticking. I just supercharged it. <laughs> the other ramp pod sticked. Yeah, they, they all did. Even the one up there was going haywire. Yeah. Alright, I want to put this down now. <laughs> yeah, put it back in the case, please. Yeah, you can go back. Please don't be angry at me. Oh, what? Put the doll next to the ramp pod. Uh, oh! 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 He went a little too close. That's probably why. Fortune? Yeah. No, I, th I think you actually broke the frequency because you brought the doll like... See, your ass is breaking the frequency. <laughs> now, are we supposed to touch that doll? No. You're allowed no. to touch it. Are, allowed are, to are we? Touch it, but like, is, well... Is it because of an entity attached to it? Potentially. Like, yeah, I guess that's what they're saying. Right on the paper there. Oh, is it? it was in the house right house. there. Oh, I right. That. Look at the, the little... The I'm just filling it. Oh, I'm sorry. Do not open or touch. I am so sorry. Oh. <laughs> I did not notice that. Hey, we were told we could touch it, okay? I apologize. I don't, I don't read things, so <laughs> I didn't damage it. <laughs> no, that's that that that's because of the guys of Mind C T V. They opened the case, they opened the Pandora's box. Alright, well, it's a shocking experience. <laughs> oh my god. 
I can't believe that. that was Me neither. Dude, like, I knew that up. that little thing could produce EMF, How but at there? that yeah. extent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of EMF off that little thing. Mm -hmm. right. And especially to go through the body. I mean, that far? Yeah. That far? Yeah. So it says, my owner, Ima Holtz, was born in 1956. Patricia. The youngest daughter in the house. Patricia. She has only one big brother. Oh. Well, he's not charged now, so. Ima got the doll when she was five years old in 1961. Uh, the other one she got the following year. Unfortunately, this doll has not been able to find pictures. Uh, the picture she received the doll from her nice. great great grandmother. I'm a Holt was a very quiet and shy girl, so the dolls were her only toys and has played with them for many years. These dolls were expensive and therefore it was me. clothes were knitted by her mother. Therefore they made the clothes for themselves. Uh, the clothes are crocheted by her mother Catherine Best. The dolls had a happy life with Ima and were very much appreciated. The dolls have been exposed to large fires in the house several times. Ima grew up in the old house made of wood, unusual because most homes in Denmark were made of brick. With very poor electricity, her grandparents and their two kids lived in. Their house lay between very high trees on Vestbjerg, so I can say that incorrectly, hill, when there was lighting. The house used to short circuit a transition into the connectors and fires occurred. Every man had to help out, uh, help out fires, so, oh, help put out the fire, so it did not develop further. I was afraid of thunderstorms and insist the lights were turned off so the electricity was not active. Interesting. Hmm. All right. That is nuts. I've never seen anything like that. Though. Me neither. Well, I mean, we, we've kind of figured out why. Yeah, but, like, that was just... But I, I knew, <laughs> I knew that that little ball had some some potential yeah, yeah. but Got a lot of potential at that extent because when i did an investigation with the my gang in in quebec i put that little ball in the graveyard and the rampart was kind of far from it and it was going off mm -hmm. because of that little freaking ball yeah, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. That's definitely really cool. Sorry. It's a good start, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'd say so. That's an awesome start. I say, honestly, we should, we should start down here and make our way up eventually. What, do you guys want to do, like, the lights out kind of thing? Just yeah, you could. You, all the lights out, yeah, we quiet could. A bit, ask some questions. I uh, can crack out the Yes No Prism. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, it's fun. <laughs> 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 I'm a man. Okay. Well, you're a man. That's good. I'm a man too. All right. Well, I, we'll introduce ourselves. If you don't know us, my name is Lamar. I'm Chelsea. Angelo. Cowboy Frank. And I'm Jeff, exploring Arley. We all came a long way to communicate with someone tonight. Someone said you're a man. So what's your name? Manifest. Yes, Manifest. please. Man, Innocent. Innocent. Okay. If you're the man, are you connected to the home? Oh, wow. uh, is your phone or an airplane mode? No, it's not. Okay. Debunk. <laughs> there we go. Airplane phone, mode. Phone, airplane mode or not. Airplane only and it's still going off. No, we're not. There it is. Thank you. Oh, that's the one with the, the green light and blue light? The triangle thing? The oh, yeah, that's my prism. Oh, we can, we can set up the prism. The flux capacitor. Yes. But, for people wow. that don't know our flux works, our flux works, can I borrow you as a cameraman please absolutely sorry angel so you have a knob right there that knob gives you the distance 
you will have on each side of your triangle, okay? I've seen people do an investigation and putting it in a triangle say, oh yeah, he said yes, but the dial is cranked up all the way up, okay? I put it Isn't that really short. So it got yeah, like six inches or to a feet on each side. So I'm gonna set it right there. Thank you, man. So I've put a triangle on the floor. It flashes red. On the left side, it flashes green to say yes. And on the right side, it flashes red to say no. Do you understand? Cabin. Yes, we're in a cabin. Kind of. Can you use the triangle to answer? Do you want me to demonstrate? Could we shut off that backlight? Well, that's just recording on my camera. Oh, is it on your camera? Okay. Yeah, and I can shut it off. I'm going to show it, okay? There we go. There we go. Okay? On this side, you have a green light. And I'll, I, I'm gonna show you the range. See where I'm? Also, it increases as you get there. Exactly. So it will start to detect right here. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Oh, why are they both on? Did you guys hear that? Uh, I removed my hand, but it went red. The green, yeah, it, it, it goes, but it stayed red. Okay. I have a question for whoever is here with us right now. Are you the original owner of this house? The one that passed away? Carl? Oh. Toy. toy? Yes. It's a toy. You can use it to answer questions. Hmm. Would your grandfather have seen the shush, maybe? No, never. No? No. Oh, So okay. we can presume maybe it's not... Which, which one is that? I don't know. Oh, that one? I think that was... I think it's the back one. Back one up? No? That actually could have been the rent pot over there. Hey, this the one over there? It's going yeah, off. Yeah, the K2. K2's going off. My K2? Yeah, it's been going off for a moment. Are you one of the victims that got murdered here? Or... We're involved in the stories here. Use any of our devices to answer, please. Oh. The EMF is going on yeah. crazy right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, temperature drop, drop. Look over there, 43. It was at 47 earlier on. It's at 43 now. Can't see. You can't see? Where are you standing? Am I blocking your view? Are you affecting the temperature over there? Oh. What does that mean? What it's a uh, pressure. Does that mean something catched it? It's a difference in pressure. Okay. Stomach problems. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Do you think that had something to do with yesterday? With you having stomach issues? I was just going to say that. That's weird. Okay, so I just clued into this. We asked if it was one of the victims of the murder scenes or the murder story. Yeah. That's Marie. Marie? Marie? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been landed. My phone's on airplane though. Me too. Really? And when you put the other one beside it, yeah, nothing? It, it stops. Oh no, mine went. It's like it's like taking turns. Oh. Communication. Yes. Tell us your name, please. Look, 
Look where I'm standing. It's not even triggering. And I'm really close. So that's why you have to really, really check your range before. All right? For no false positives. Are you connected to one of the dolls? Use the triangle to answer. Looks like I just used the run clock to answer. Yeah. Was yeah. yeah. Just going off over here. Was it that one? It was that yeah. one. Oh, was the back one? No. Yeah, it's the one over here by the, by the TV. Cable there. Oh, okay. It hasn't done anything in a little while. Tell us your name, please. Who are we communicating with right now? Can you give us a name? Old K2s are, uh, oh, yours just went to Red Edge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. just flashed red. I got oh, yeah. It's dangerous. Oh. What's dangerous? I'm going to safe. Lower it. That's dangerous one safe. Yeah, okay, that was really weird. <laughs> that was like, like a totally contradictory statement There right must there. be two here with us. Yeah. There's more than one, that's for sure. Is there a dark entity with us here right now? Give us a sign. Mine's like blipping. Yours yep. is consistent. Mine. Yeah. We did turn your phone on well, airplane mode, so I know it's not My mine phone right is over there. Yeah. His what? His army? Oh. That's interesting. His army? So that's like some satanic shit right His army? Yeah. Yes. And we got the devil is here. Yeah, I was in the army. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were in the army. Edgar. Hmm. Edgar. That's Edgar, that's an old name. Edgar, are you related to the house? Edgar, did you work on the farm? Okay, so just to prove that it's not the phone. Yeah. I moved the phone away and it's still going. We should like lay them both down. Hmm. Like, I'm, I'm just... It wouldn't really matter. Yeah, it's weird. It's like pulsing. Yeah. Well, isn't this where it's the weird. cleansing was? Yes. Yes. So this might be like the pulse of the house. Oh. Like where the portal would have yeah. kind of yeah. yeah. I have a question. And that question. Oh. Whoa. 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 We were executed. Who are you? The murder Edgar victims. Was one of the murder victims. Or the native. Yeah, it was just or the the, natives. Natives. the massacre. Or the demons. As they were cleansed. Or oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So can you tell us who was executed here? That's a random word. Yeah. I've asked a, that question before. Is there a portal that was open in this house? Can you answer with the triangle, please? That would be muchly appreciated. Matthew. Matthew, if it's you, can you confirm? Oh, Infirm if there is or we're trying to get through. Yeah. If you go touch that plasma ball over there, that'll help you charge up. Exactly. And, uh, try to communicate Keep a in mind that the name Matthew is also Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I'll pull a lot. <laughs> so, is there a portal here? You can use the triangle to answer yes or no. No, I don't want the rampart. I want the triangle in front of me, please. I'm asking politely. Erica. Erica. Is there any of the natives that were killed or with us right now? Here. If you are related to the burial ground, 
Can you touch one of our devices? We've set some devices over there, as you guys saw. I had a long life. And I'm pretty sure it was a good life, too. So, will you answer my question? Did somebody open a portal here? That was a bang. Yeah, I heard a knock. Well, my ears picked it up to the right over here. Can you do it again, please? The noise was me. No! Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh! I think I'm going to close the television. I think we won't be watching TV. Was that always open? The cabinet behind you? Who? Which one? I'm family. I don't think you Your family? Oh my freaking lord, my my K2 is spiking like crazy. My my K2's at it. And you, yours too, Angelo. No way. Here, you know what? Let's go see. Let's go see upstairs. Sleep in the crib, Frank. Yes. Look at this snow. That's so creepy. Oh my God. Did that make a bang up here? It's all cramped up. Look at the music box too. Oh. It's like he's trying to stay away from the whole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go there. <laughs> but yeah, it's like coming in here, like I can feel like my heart rate increases, like instantly. Like anxiety almost. Yeah. Yeah. Angela, you know when we all did the SK Pierce mansion? Remember that one closet? Mm -hmm. How like when I got there, there was a big X? Yep. Same thing as this one. Really? Yeah, there's a massive X mm -hmm. on it. X. Yeah. What if somebody was like murdered in the closet? It's very possible. Right? Yeah. But they put a mirror in the closet to yeah, do. Yeah, because uh, it's like for some reason there's. I know there's like some stories about how active for some reason. I forgot. There are QR codes. If you scan the QR oh. codes, you'll have the story. I'm right. sorry, guys. <laughs> the QR code. All right. That's cool. All right. All right. What's the QR say? Jokes on you, you get a virus. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang, you've now been hacked by the Hinsdale team. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing's coming out. No? Oh, no. oh so it's a, just a gimmick thing? I don't know what. It's probably just not working. Yeah, it should good. load something because it says Clara's closet. So we know there's something about a yeah. Clara in this closet. Okay. But it's just not loading. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. We got Clara Miller's story. Oh, it's a video. Oh. Was published yeah. in September 2000. Clara That's was me. in search of her dream home, a place out in the country where she could raise her four young children while her husband commuted each way to his job in nearby Buffalo, New York. 
The dandies lived in the house from July of 1974. to October of 1974. <laughs> At the time of the haunting, it's a living Miss Miller was 37. Her then husband, Phil Dandy, was 39. Their children included Mike, 17, Beth, 16, Laura, 12, and Mary, 11. Yeah. <laughs> the Dandy family did not want to move from the house. They liked the house and the area. And all of their friends were there. Oh my god, look. Fly? The Dandy family looked to the Catholic Church for help on the Fly. The first priest blessed the house. We're sleeping up here. The second priest laughed at them. And the last priest who finally helped them was named Father Trouble. Oh. Father Trouble was an exorcist. He visited the Dandies a couple of times. He performed a cleansing on the building using the exorcism light. This Catholic light yeah, me too. When it is used on a building and not a person. Exactly. Oh, ladybugs. Yeah, ladybugs and there's a fly. Oh. But after a oh. There's a fly right there. This is a photo of the original book of Catholic exorcism lights called Ritale Romano. Oh, okay. The Dandies experienced car troubles, phantom cars and the precarious visitors. Phantom cars. The repeated paranormal disasters plagued them. The family ended in near bankruptcy. Because of this, Clara also lost her secretary job because she kept missing work. This should have been their dream home, but the family was in financial ruin. Even though they were frightened, what? they had to stay longer because they did not have the finances to move that? to yeah. another large house. That was somewhere a person. Else. That was. Eventually, the family were where? pushed out. Where? I don't know where. It was that was a man. That too, yeah. yeah. Or they gave up the house That's why I turned to look at Lamar, because I thought you know, he said something. That's what I thought, yeah. too. The Dandies, along with the two young children, moved to California. We their oldest heard, daughter, okay. Mary. I didn't really get the story about the closet, to be honest. Right. <laughs> no. When, when I was in the closet, yeah. I, I, I'm looking right there, and... What's your what's your vibe so far? Like, how do you feel right going there? into that closet? Uh, I'm charged. Look, look at my arm. It's it's colder though, like significantly colder. But like, do you feel like? Um, look, look, the hairs are standing on my arm. And now, when you come like, out, how do you feel? Look, 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 look. Come close. He has goosebumps. Look. Really, like. I'm charged. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yours are way too bright for. <laughs> it, it'll adjust. It wasn't. Just, you just gotta there we go. And hey, look, as soon as I get my arm in there. Because I was looking at my screen and I, I thought I saw somebody standing right there. But it was my imagination, I think. Or well, maybe it wasn't. Wow. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> we'll see when I'll check my uh, footage. So the other interesting thing was that when we first came in here, um, we came up here. Uh, I think all four of us were up here. Jeff, I think, was still downstairs. Yeah. Frank was standing there and I was standing like right here. And it was weird because I thought I heard somebody like scratch something or kind of like scuff something. Yeah. And I remember I asked you, I'm like, did you hit something? Like hit the wall or something? Yeah, you asked me if I tapped or moved. Yeah, and you're like, no, I didn't do anything. It sounded as if something like scraped the wall in this room. So this is where I'm sleeping tonight. So. Lucky you. And you see the old man is sitting filming. <laughs> well, this has uh, so far been an interesting, uh, Very interesting. go. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting story. Remember, 3 o'clock is uh, power hour, right? So yeah. This, uh, who's sleeping? <laughs> Not me. I don't know who's falling asleep tonight. But Man, I fall asleep everywhere, so. <laughs> I mean, I've slept in my Hey, I did, uh, when I did my video on the, at the Lord Nelson, Oh, the activity was on my bed, so I, I, I literally slept with a ghost. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a sketch. Did anybody do the cross sketch? No. Oh, well, I think it was there. Is there a story? There's something there. No, it's a poem. It's just a. Just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through the world below there is my sickness, fear, my danger, and the bright land to which I go. Oh, this is a prayer, but sort of a yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly where that's from. Alright, well, this is turning out to be. 
interesting. I'm really curious to hear that EVP that came through. Like we all heard that man's yeah. voice. Yeah. Man, I, I wasn't sure if what it, it was I one of you. Specifically heard yeah, of I, I heard a man too. So. Okay, spirits. Um, when I was lying on the couch before you guys came, yep. I was always looking at the window in the kitchen. Right. <laughs> like at any oh, moment, I was like, like a, a face gonna pop out. Oh, okay. I was like, it, I had the sense that a face was about. To... So you felt like something was watching you. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. And every time I was closing my eyes, I was like napping. I felt the presence. Yeah. At, at the time, I even took my hand out and said, can you touch my hand? And you can hear a little downstairs. Yeah. Well, let's well, head back down. Yeah, there, let's go back down. We have five spirits. I I <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if it's dark. Coming back down. Go! Oh. Bro, it said your name. It said my name? It said Jeff on the spirit box. Oh, oh again? Looking right here. Yeah. Jeff. Yeah, right there. I, oh. Okay. Yours are spitting words. No, that's me. Cat ball is going, but that's me. Okay. Triangle. I think I'm going to move mine. Right here on the chair. Elric, hey, the, the name Elric came through. Elric. Elric. Is he related to anything? I don't know, but it's an old last word. Yeah. Elric. Huh. I think I actually put a... Hmm. And if there was a voice downstairs, my camera over there, the mic is well. I heard a breath down here. That's exactly what Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's exactly what When all you guys were upstairs, I heard a breath. So, and I mean, like, why did the ghost always try to find my pee-pee? I started something with this pee-pee They like you when you were in the washroom for something. They're trying to see my pee-pee. So I was trying to sneak a peek, eh? Yeah, I'm going to show the viewers that, well... There's the yeah, there's a head. There's the door to the basement. So, yeah. And Frank said that he heard knocking when he was well doing his thing. So. What did you use to put the coffee? Medicine. Oh, that's mine. Feel? Abuse? Feel? Bodies below? <gasps> no. Bodies below? Dude. Oh, okay. Okay. That's interesting. Bodies below? Mm hmm. Okay. The triangle, the triangle, was it you that triggered it? Yeah, well, okay. okay. They killed me. They killed me? They're going in the basement? They're going for a smoke break and then oh, okay. right after. Okay. I'll stay in here with you. Yeah, okay. Can you move away, please? Just show us that you're here. Just, just move away, just slightly. No? It's steady. Damn.
Wow. Okay. You have plenty of other toys. You have a little bear right there. You keep playing with the lights over here too. The temperature is increasing. It's at 44. So you guys, you remember? I told you that I would bring this and this. So to prove that is brand new, it is brand new tape, I will like used to remember how to freaking unpack those freaking cassettes? <laughs> oh man, I'm having major flashbacks now. Yeah. So we gonna pop that little baby. That brings back memories, man. <laughs> So, good old, so freaking old, uh, like that, like that. So, we are gonna start it in the basement, so let's go over there. Put that. Oh boy, all right. Huh? Here we go, man. <laughs> so at least the toilet won't be won't be far if something happens. <laughs> oh, look at the steps. I'm just gonna close the door so we keep the heat up upstairs. There you go. Watch your head. Yeah, you see, you gotta hit your head somewhere. Here. Yeah, pull the chair up a bit. Just for uh, fun, I brought this down. Here. Yes. Over there. That's the closet. Oh, thanks. Okay. There we go. Well. Well. Alrighty. Shoot. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. It's cold. Well, well. <laughs> but if they're what? <laughs> so early on. Cheers. Well. Oh, on our spirit box, or Jeff's spirit box, he said, we're buried under. Yes. So I wonder if someone's buried here. Underneath it is possible, like it's I very said. Very possible. Yeah. Because of the needles that were killed here. And you see the foundations are really old. Like L slate, piled slate, not even freaking. Not even well, There's water, but. a bit of water, but not that much. It's probably corroded over there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so uh, is that already recording? Yeah, it's recording. So if anybody wants to talk to us, now's your chance. It's a tape. Oh, is it? It's old. No. 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 Maybe I'm just hallucinating. No. <laughs> I've been hearing music, by the way, which is interesting Mandy. because then we were Mandy. This hmm. book. Uh, all the people who've been here, yes. there was someone, was it recent? Uh, 20 and 2020. 2020. So somebody who came back in 2020, four of them stayed overnight, and I guess all of them heard music. 
bagpipes. I was sounded old. Like it sounded yeah. like music you hear probably in the 20s, 30s. Yeah. So that was interesting. Do you remember that video I just showed you like outside where I said I thought I heard the footsteps in the video? Okay. Okay, so another reason why I took that video at home mm -hmm. was because I kept Challenge. hearing music. Oh. Like I was constantly hearing either chatter mm -hmm. or music in my own house. And I, I went searching around. There's no radio. There's no nothing. Everybody was asleep. Right. And it sounded constantly like when I was laying in my bed, like a faint radio sound or like, like it was so weird. I can't even explain. So it's really weird that he says that here too. Hmm. Mandy and challenge. Mandy and challenge, yeah. What's the challenge? Are you challenging us? Can you see it into the recorder down there? That gray box? It will record your voice if you talk into it. Is it you? I heard some like something upstairs, like say, go like. Mm. That's what she heard. Yeah, yeah. sound like a phone or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mine is on the, is on bed com. It's upstairs on the, the chair. That might have been just vibrating. Hmm. Bizarre. Are you related to the Indian burial ground here? Give us a sign of any sort of thing you can do to let us know if you were. Yes, I'm here. <gasps> That's a confirmation, man. Brother. Oh my god. Well, the guy goes, hey, can you give me any kind of confirmation? I'm here. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. We're not here to hurt you or disturb you. We just want to talk to you if that's okay. Just want to communicate. We want to know your story. That's tell all. Us, tell us your name. Share my beer with you if you want. Hey, Michelob. It's Michelob's. Two grams of carbs per can. <laughs> Very light. <laughs> Michelob boy. 90 calories. That one might actually go back to this one. You're going to have a beer with that. That's a light beer back. <laughs> I think it was just pure hops. Yeah. yeah. There was one that did back to so. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's lots of things in there, but... Mind. Mind? Hmm. Uh, can you uh, tell me what color underwear I'm wearing? <laughs> what? Dude, how it's just like red or something? <laughs> Pink. It's hot. Yeah. I don't even know what color underwear I'm wearing, to be honest. It's like blue. How many of you are there? Here at the moment. And it's in that crawl space that they heard that bang. Are you buried in this crawl space? Oh, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> See you later. Can you make a sound or something? <laughs> we came a long way to talk to somebody. <gasps> oh, can see. 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 Can see.
specific number of only the living. Yep. And you can see here right now in this basement. The frig is done. to go back upstairs. Do you not like it down here? I mean, we don't like it down here very much either. They don't like it the cold? Yeah, it's really yeah. chilly down here. Don't they need like heat to manifest like heat to create the energy? And... No, not necessarily. No. And I've heard uh, the opposite that the cold can like well, normally it's like you're in a warm place and then a spirit tries to manifest itself or use the energy around and it drops in temperature and mm -hmm. it's still cold. So I'd imagine that the heat might help to increase their strength. Cool. It's yeah. a theory, I'm not... I'm no, not uh, you, you have a good, freaking good theory, no? Right, so... Oh, <laughs> everybody at the same time turned around. <laughs> well, that, that's my theory on it. Well, that's a, no, that's a great theory, yeah. man. That's a great theory, yeah. Temperature drops are normally a sign that something's nice. Whoa! Oh! Well, I guess they yeah. agree with me, huh? I guess so. The accuracy on that. I think they just don't like it down here. It's freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. Yeah. Give us a sign if you want us to go back upstairs. The door open. Bro. <laughs> Any sign at all? If you want us to go back upstairs, can you open the door? Everybody's anticipating the door? Yeah. <laughs> I can see everybody. Honestly, I get the feeling that there's no one down here. Yeah, I'm not oh. picking up on anything. There's there's like, there no was way. right like two seconds ago. Yeah, but that's all the strength it's got. It's so cold. Like, it's there. communicating, but I feel like it's communicating can you not can you do something just to let us know that you don't really like it down here Maybe flush the toilet knock twice again on the door right. yes he's got options he's spying on my pee pee <laughs> thanks we all <laughs> every time I'm in the bathroom something new that that? Hilda Hilda oh an older name yeah Spirit. We know. Yes. Where are you, Spirit? <laughs> so the medium said there was a couple of seven murders. And they stored them down here? Well, that's the story, but... Yeah. That's why I want to... Are you buried under here? If you're one of the murder victims, are you buried under the foundation here behind you? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely rip Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll move upstairs then. Where are we getting up? So, mm -hmm. 